Today on Ask Bloop, how I rendered my films, plus the secret to getting into Pixar. Welcome to Ask Bloop, Mori from Bloopanimation.com. It's Friday and it's time for your question. What's the best career choice if I'm interested in graphic design and animating? And your videos are awesome. Thank you. None of the two is a better career choice. You can have great careers in either of them. And they are pretty similar in terms of salaries. Though I guess graphic designers have the potential to be more profitable if you become a known designer that is being commissioned by big media companies like designing the cover of a famous magazine. Animators don't really see those kind of opportunities very often. But all of that doesn't really matter if you enjoy doing one more than the other. I almost went into graphic design. I started my major at SVA in the advertising department on my way to become an art director. And I would have probably been a pretty good graphic designer. But once I stumbled into computer arts and saw what they can do there, I couldn't think about doing anything else. So try looking inside and be honest with yourself. Which of the two really gets you excited? Let me know in the comments if that helped and what you end up choosing. How many backups do you usually keep for a project like this? And where do you store them? So here's my backup system. First of all, I have an external hard drive connected to my computer. And once in a while, I copy the entire project to that drive to have a physical copy. But that's not really anything in terms of backup. I also keep my entire project on my Dropbox folder. So it's always in the cloud. And I also use Backblaze, which is a service that constantly backs up my entire computer and all hard drives that are connected to that computer to the cloud backup system. So yeah, that's a lot of backups, but I consider it a must have. Can a normal computer render a short film? And what makes you prefer Maya over Blender? Well, I use Maya because that's what I've used in school and in all the studios I've worked at. So I'm used to it. I think Blender is a great choice and it's free, but I'm just very used to Maya, so I just keep using it. As for rendering at home, you can definitely do that. I rendered Lift Up entirely at home and I could have done the same with Tasteful. It would just take me a lot longer than I wanted to. So I ended up using a render farm for most of the renderings. I posted a video all about it earlier this week, so check that out to learn how I rendered the film. How do you get a job at a big company like Pixar? Oh, that's easy. You work hard at school to be one of the better animators in your class, and then you finally get a chance to be one of the only three students to be interviewed by Pixar. Then you nail the interview, and a week later you get the news. I didn't get the job. Then you start an animation YouTube channel, grow it to over 140,000 subscribers, start your own animation studio, make three short films, and then wait for them to call you, and then they still don't call. I, I have no idea how to get into Pixar. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for all the questions. If you have one, post it in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week.